It's K-Pop Music Monday! We talk about K-Pop! Music! On Monday! Hence the title! Thousands of K-Pop music videos come out every week, so today we're gonna talk about four that we like, mm -hmm. including B1A4, aka Balasa, G.O.D., Girls' Day, and FX. Alright, let's start with FX's Red Light, which came out on July 2nd and has over 6 million views thus far. Wow, I was not expecting this for their comeback. This is unlike any FX video that I've no. ever seen before in okay. my life. I was really happy with his music video because FX tends to get the like bizarre end of the SM stick. I definitely think it's their best music video. It's yeah. the most artsy. It's got so many different color changes. It's not tacky like their other mm -hmm. videos. This is a really interesting video. Oh, they finally left the box sets. Right, they're not in a box anymore. They're in a, a warehouse, which is technically a box, but it doesn't yeah. look like they're weird boxes That's at least. right. Well, okay, here's the thing. A lot of FX music videos tend to be really like tacky almost. Yeah. Like really bright colors and like weird special effects. Like remember the digital flower fart balloon that they had yeah. pop up behind like them. Like electric shock had like the weird wiggles in yeah. the air, and it was just really awkward. This is a super mature music video. Even the outfits look good. Like normally FX has the really tacky outfit. Right here, we really like the direction yes. of the music video. That doesn't mean that we know what's going on in the music <laughs> video. It's very art scene symbolic, mm. and I'm sure that it's like every time they blink, it represents oppression from the. I'm pretty sure that black and white flower being blown up is the representation of loss of virginity. I'm pretty sure it also means that they're down with authority because there's so much authority in Korea. We're not FX, we're FU. The one eye patch represents turning a blind eye to like society and the problems that they have with it. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. As for the song itself, I don't like it as much as the music video. It's usually the inverse relation that we have with FX. We love their songs, but the music videos are always kind of like meh, but this time we love the video and the song is yeah. just like, I don't know what's happening here. It was really disjointed, right? And a lot of the people in the comments also mm. are not really satisfied with the song itself. It's What's weird about it is that like when you first listen to it, the beginning of it, you're like, this song is going to be amazing. And then just when it starts to build up, it's, it just changes and kind of like... something different. And, and then you're like, okay, I've accepted this change. Okay. And then, and then it's it something else. And this song makes me feel old because before I used to feel like I was with it. And now it's like they change what it was and I don't know what it is anymore and it will happen to you too next up is B1A4 Bilasa! with their song solo day Bilasa sounds a lot better now that I have a beard it actually does Bilasa! you're also yelling a lot more into my only remaining good ear it's we're because... so old <laughs> <laughs> I'm Devin on here. now the video just came out so it doesn't have millions of views yet but it will soon because this is an awesome song an awesome video yep. a lot better than than their last white snowy song that I didn't really like. I'm very conflicted. There's there's a consistency in them that is lacking. Like I loved OK Go. I love Zoom Zoom My Heart Like a Locket. And I loved what's happening. They had the really colorful, funky, quirky, quirky yeah. bizarreness to Belas that really is representative of their style. But whenever they get to the more serious songs, like hey, you're not really doing it for me. This goes back to the yeah. Belas that I love. Okay, but what's great about this video is that it's not over the top. This video is still quirky yep. with the whole like video game theme and like the comic book panels uh -huh. of everyone's names. But it's not like over over the top. I'm okay. trying to be chipper. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like. <laughs> Yes, it doesn't have that to it. No. But it's still really fun, but yes. actually beautifully shot. This is an amazing video. It's yeah. shot outside of Korea. Well, it doesn't have that feel that a lot of international videos have. It's like, I'm a K-pop star and everybody loves me here. Yeah. And what I like is that they set up scenes with character sketches, like I'm like OCD and I'm with this girl and I have right. to fix the spoon and like uh -huh. I'm a pizza delivery boy. They have those quirky scenes. And I'm a homeless guy. I'm a flower homeless guy. With flower flower vagabond, vagabond, I believe. Which if you don't know what that means, flower means like pretty boy. So he's like, a pretty boy home. That's one of those like nice ways of saying it's like you're not a klutz, you're just environmentally challenged. But that's what that's you're you're you're, no, you're not a bum, you're just a flower vagabond. Yeah, that's not like the beginning of a Korean drama. And great song. Nothing like weird and quirky, just a simple, like acoustic y pop. -y. It has a very fun summertime vibe. We haven't really heard that many like nice summery songs, and this song definitely gives us what we're feeling. I give Belas's music video two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Making three. Four. Three. But wait, my favorite part of the video is definitely when you see them all like eating the food because we know about how Korean music videos are shot and we know that they a lot of the times don't eat. So when they're actually eating the food there, that is real. Yep. They are starving. He's this is the first pancakes. food they've seen in weeks. They are going to murder each other for a piece of pancake. I appreciated the sincerity of that scene. Careful, Velasa. You might get fat in California because that happened, that to, happened us. to us. 
Damn you, Roscoe's chicken and waffles! Why are you so fattening? Why? Wow. Next up on our list is Girls Day with Darling, which doesn't have millions of views yet because it just came out, but it will soon because of various reasons. Main reason why it's gonna get so many views is because it's so sexual. Hey, I'm Girls Day, and now I'm Girls Day. Most of the video of Girls Day, you don't actually see their faces, it's just their crotches and their asses. Not much, do ya? Okay, all right. Not much, do ya? Okay, all right. I would say that there's a pretty obvious double standard happening in the industry, which yes. is that guys can go shirtless a lot of the time, right. but girls show mid midriff. Girls are not are allowed banned. to go shirtless, and that's not fair. Okay, well, girls, Make it happen, Korea. All right. Well, you are the trendsetters of music. For the record, Simon has had too much coffee. <laughs> I'm just saying, I noticed for a lot of this video, you didn't see a lot of girls' Day's faces. You saw a lot more of it fragmented and little parts of their body as opposed to them as a whole. Off the get-go, I want to say that I really like the song. Oh, yeah. It has that really, like, summery And coffee. also, like, like the beginning of the song is like, A little bit of Jessica in, in my, my life. life. Yeah. <laughs> like, it sounds very similar to that. And I th actually think this is my favorite song on the list. I don't know. Okay, I don't really know. My favorite song on the list. Well, I, I know. It's I, true. The music video just irks me a little well, bit. Well, don't think about the video. Just think about the song. When it okay. comes to the song itself. The song is great. I totally like the song. Yeah. Now let's talk about the music video. Now, a lot of people have been complaining lately, including us, that a lot of K-pop music videos are becoming like overly sexualized and they're they're waiting for the days to return right. where people are not selling like sex sell style. Well, they're just having fun instead of like trying to arouse you. The clothing in this video is not necessarily sexual. They're wearing right. pretty normal clothing. Yeah, they're yeah. wearing like bathing suits that cover not up. Ultra -sexual. They're, they're short and the tank tops are totally normal. However, the way that the video was shot and edited is what makes this video sexual. Watching this video actually kind of made me feel like a kindergarten teacher because I was really trying to prevent kids from doing really stupid <laughs> Oh my god, I know. I know that this is a cupcake, but is this how I'm no, supposed to No, Sally, eat it? you gotta open it. You put it inside like your this? mouth. No, don't just rub it on your face like that. So we're gonna wash this car, and I know that you use bubbles to wash a car. So can we use bubble guns to wash the whole car? Uh, no, no, hey, no, hey. I'm washing that's, the car. That's not how car washing works. Put the bubble gun away. It's pink, can I eat it? Jesus, just because it's pink and fluffy doesn't mean that you're supposed to eat it. Get out of your mouth. Let's play hide and seek, find me. You're hiding behind a hose. You're good. Let's play hide and seek, find me. You're hiding behind a towel. I'm gonna play darts, but first I'm gonna pose with darts. No, don't put the dart in your mouth. You don't, this is a bar <laughs> setting. People don't wash your hands after, don't put that near my face. Jesus, stop it, stop it. Seriously, you look really dumb in this video. But the song is Song is nice. great. Close your eyes, listen to the song, you'll be happy. Yeah. And last up on our list for the return of all the awesome July songs is G-O-D with Saturday Night. It doesn't have millions of views and it probably won't, but it should because it's one of the coolest videos on this list as well. All right, so I didn't actually know anything about G.O.D. going into this video. They were way before our time, before we came to Korea. And they have made themselves a new fan. Right. Seriously, guys. First of all, the music video is hilarious. Yes. If you don't speak Korean at the beginning, it might be confusing. They meet up with each other like on a rooftop and basically they're chatting about what's going on in their lives uh -huh. and they're completely lying about it. Oh um, yeah, I've got the successful business or oh yeah, I own this construction company or I'm like- a professional oh, I'm a boxer. professional boxer and you're like oh wow these guys are doing good and then you see what really is happening in their lives and it's totally different and they have really crappy jobs and it's hilarious yeah i've talked about before how korean and k-pop songs don't really focus on realistic things in life yeah i understand that Fine. but this is a group that's coming back they had like their heat of success when they were younger their heat of success that's right it's a new phrase copyright 2014 martina but they're not making a comeback like let's go back to that time period when we yeah. were those boys everybody's waiting for us they've been anticipating our comeback for years. No, they, they're more realistic. They're like, let's be silly, let's be fun. Let's make people laugh and yeah. feel good as opposed to like saying like, I'm the hottest thing around. There's a humility in this video that I appreciate. Yeah, and I think it can speak to like a normal Korean audience, especially their fans that might be similar to their age, right? Right, exactly. They bring it around to them going to a club and they're going to dance and they actually look really good. Like yeah. when they enter the club, they, they have they that start off, back. yeah, yeah. It seems like they're gonna like totally rip it up and then it turns out that they don't. And then they hear their old hits from the yeah. past and they're all like, oh, 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 o
and they like, like, you know, like it makes you smile and yeah. laugh the whole video. And you can see they still have it. Like when yeah. they dance, they could outdance me any day. If you haven't seen this video, watch it. You're gonna love it. It's probably one of my favorite videos on the list. So that's it for this week's Music Money. We're gonna talk about Henry's video and newest video on our blog post. Make sure you click on the link here if you want to read more about it. And my question for you guys is what is your favorite song on this list? You can include Henry and newest as well. Right. And which video was your favorite? Because maybe you liked one song better and one music video better. Please let us know in the comment section. Or below. who should we have talked about that we didn't mention? All right. Okay. We're going to end this before Simon consumes all the coffee in the place. We Look. We stayed up really late. Watching. We had to watch the World Cup game. I need this to survive for today. We got to edit this video. It's already like 7 p.m. We stayed up really late to watch the game in Germany. You did a great job. And Germany. I'm 25% German. I like how as soon as Germany won the World Cup, everyone discovered their German heritage. They're like, oh yeah, my great great uncle was like stationed in Germany for a bit and he had a schnitzel once, so that counts. Oh boy.